Hello everyone and welcome to episode 22 of the Wool and Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Tracy. This is our place on the internet where we talk about all the woolly things, knitting, spinning, crocheting. Yep. So, is that, is that the intro? I think so. So how have you been? Okay, yeah, not too bad. Half term obviously just went, was that yeah. alright? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, bit, um boring i liked it though staying in this the half term this yeah. time of year just sort of hibernating yeah got a lot, lot of uh knitting done yeah but sylvia wanted me to binge watch the walking dead all right with her which i've not watched that it's good is it good it is good but zombies binge watching zombies last night they actually got into my dreams and i think oh, no. it happened yeah so see yeah. i don't like zombies no not no before I, I had do. kids, I was okay with watching. I used to like watching sort of horror films and zombies, but after having the kids, yeah, it was a bit different, freaked me out a bit. But yeah, yeah I got into my dream last night, but I just wake up straight away. Yeah. Zombies come along, but then I just keep waking up, and then it takes ages to get back to sleep because then it's, yeah, zombies. Yeah, no. So, uh, well, actually, I can't watch any horrors no. like that. No. Because well, anxiety for My no worst reason. thing is, um, oh, what was it? No. Freddy Krueger. Oh, yeah. Because I actually had a dream. I watched it and then I had a dream that he was there and I woke up from my dream thinking, well, I didn't really swore then. <laughs> like, got up, went to the toilet and he shut the door behind me. So I hadn't really woken up in my dream. Oh. Yeah. So awful. Awful. And ever since then, I don't think I can do horrors. That's the worst dreams where you think you're awake. Yeah, I thought I was awake. I thought, oh, that was a horrible and you dream. Go, I've had I went one to the, toilet. Go to the toilet. I've splashed water in my face and then I've, I've woke up and I'm in bed again. And it's like, yeah, is this real? <laughs> yeah. But if, yeah, Freddy Krueger's yeah. there. Yeah. No. Not good. No. Don't. That was, a, that was a proper tangent. <laughs> no, not really. That was good. No. Yeah. So if, yeah, if you're watching The Walking Dead, maybe don't binge. No. No, I'm not going to. It's just anxiety inducing for no reason, but Sylvia's been enjoying it. So oh, it's been something good. to do. Yes, he's like he's not bothered. He won't sit and watch T V or anything, so he's just been out on his bike. Oh nice. That's good. Me. That's good though. Yeah. Although I did have to go to work. Oh. Uh, a couple of the days. Yeah. Is that alright though? Yeah, not Was too Was it bad. cold? Did you wear your woolly hats? Uh no, I didn't. Because it gets hot having to I'll carry carry stuff up tools. to to the lofts and that so up ladders yeah <laughs> yeah no all right so what we're we wearing do you want do you want to go or? yeah I'll go first so this is the salty air tea by Susan oh hold on Samantha Gorin Gorin I think it is that's yeah. lovely this was knit out of drops flora oh the alpaca yeah. But it's lovely. More than alpaca. Yeah. Love that. This is my favourite that I've met. And see what I mean? Because I've done it a little bit cropped. I prefer it. And it's more fitted. Oh, I see. So to, with the thick... It's, yeah. Where I said last time that I feel like everything I make is too big. This is my favourite. And it's not... It looks lovely. And I see what you mean now. You like that fit. Yeah, I see, like I that See, I prefer fit. the fit of your thing. So oh, I've really? been trying to make things bigger. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. But no, I love it. I love all the nice. lace. And it goes all the way around the back. Did it have short rows? Yeah, it's got short rows. Um, yeah, it did have short rows. Yeah, short rows. So do you remember if the original pattern was like a cotton, if it was a summer top, or was it just a short sleeved? Uh, yeah, it is a summer top. I can't remember. Oh, no, but yes, I think it was. I don't think it was cotton. Was it cotton? Or oh, one of those silk. Because I, I said at the time... Because I'd used alpaca, I'm like, mm, it's not really a summer. But yeah, we don't really but get... But it's really light and... But yeah, we don't get a great summer anyway, no. so... Yeah, I love that. But yeah, my favourite. It's not... I've been wanting to do something a bit more detailed, yokes and things, yeah. rather than just plain, but... Yeah. This is my um, Ramona cardigan by Elizabeth Smith in Drops, Alaska. That's and lovely. this was the same one that you did last time. Yeah. But I did the long sleeve and just followed the pattern for the length, waist shaping, which actually you can see. Oh, you did do the waist yeah, shaping. Yeah, I did the waist yeah, shaping. See, I it's didn't only on coming mine. in a couple. But I thought because it's there, not many patterns have waist shaping no. written in. So I thought, well, it's. Yeah, just go which for it. probably I would have liked the others. But if yeah. I had done the waist shaping, 
you want to have made one? it a bit quick. Yeah, I might. Because it's, a, it's a fun pattern, isn't it? Yeah, I have. But yeah, the wool's nice, nice and warm. This is the first time I've worn it because I've had it, I knit it, had it blocked and was waiting for the podcast because yeah. um, obviously Ruth said that this yarn peels a bit. So I wasn't sure if by the time yeah. I was wearing it, by the time I got to show it, it would be peeled. But yeah, I will so see. Nice. I love that colour. It's really nice. I think it was called Sage Green on the wool warehouse. Oh, right. But it's 65 is the yeah. colour. But yeah, and then these buttons I got from all our house at the same time, wooden buttons. The only thing is, you can see it really clearly. It said you spaced them out sort of 10, 10 rib bits apart, 10 yeah. stitches apart or 12. And you can see, obviously this one's 10 and then that one's bigger. Yeah. I think that one I did sh the shorter gap as well. And it's really obvious that that one's closer together. No, no one's gonna. So that annoys me a bit, but yeah, I just used embroidery thread nice weave in but I yeah love that. i wanted Very more nice. cardigans and just in plain colors my classes is a sort of neutral yeah yeah definitely it's a greeny blue but it looks gray on there doesn't it oh yeah it does actually and then this is the hipster hat by petite knit in apple door quench hand spun john arban right we haven't put that in the show notes yet no but yeah Lovely. I love the colours in that. Yeah, it's fun. Really it's really nice. it's really nice blend as well. It's yeah. got um it's like Exmoor. Exmoor and Dorset. It's just a yeah, really nice blend of things put together. So it's hard wearing but still soft enough, I think. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Right, do you want to do FOs? Yeah. Do you want me to start or you start? You start. I should start, more. yeah. I've got loads of Kirsty's got a lot more than me today. So, first one. <laughs> Um, you'll have to ignore it if it's got cat hairs on it. They get everywhere. Finally, I finished this. Yay! Oh, that's lovely. Which is the Cecil, Ces Cecile top by Suzanne Muller. And it's knit in Woolly Knit. Sorry, I got my notes there. Woolly Knit 200 gram wool nylon cone in the colour Harvest Brown. Oh, so, that's so nice. I um I'm glad it's done. Actually I think I think it's that way round, yeah. It's longer at the back. You've got oh, a right, higher okay, yeah. bit at the back. But it's ribbed and took forever. I'd had enough of it. Right. <clears throat> Loads of times. So I started this this wanting it last summer. Yeah. Oh well you've got it for this summer. Yes. I really like that. I love the shaping. The why? Way why the... did you not? Why did you have enough of it? Why was? I didn't really like the yarn. It's right. A, okay. It feels like a a cotton blend. I think yeah. where it's got a lot of nylon in. It's actually sold as sock yarn. Um, oh, is that what I've got up there? Yeah. What? That's what this is knit out of. Not the merino. No, they're sock. Let me. Yeah, can I have one? This one. Yeah. I've got it in green and grey. Yeah. Is this one and actually i can show you the you see could you hold that for me yeah. so i can show you there it's it hasn't got much give no. at all so it feels like cotton and i, I suppose it's yeah i tried knitting some mittens out of it yeah. and i pulled them back i tried knitting some socks and i pulled it back because i didn't like the feel yeah it doesn't feel it feels soft like enough. cotton it's 90 percent <clears throat> wool 10 percent nylon it says here but it's very high twist I don't yeah. know if you can it's really high twist so there's something about it that hasn't got much give but i thought neither's cotton so no but feeling it like knit up now i know it's not nice to knit with yeah but i think this feels fine yeah it would be hard well it should be hard wearing and everything yeah with the high twist and i suppose that's why they said it's a sock yarn yeah but all the shaping was worked into the rib. I love the shaping, how it's just yeah, really smooth. I didn't do a great job on the... On mine, it was 10 by 10 rib. But you can see this sort of bits. For some reason, the stitches on that side were a bit looser. Oh, and I did a new bind off. All right. That I've been using. Obviously, this is rib as well. You see yeah. that stretch? What was it called? 
I think it was Elizabeth Zimmerman's bind off and it's basically a sewn bind off right and you purl through two and leave them on and then you knit one off oh and i used that on these sleeves as well and apparently it's a matching bind off to a long tail cast on oh and really easy because it's purl two i don't need to look at that yeah enough. just purl two on knit one off right. and you just keep doing that so it's easy to remember as well yeah and, and yeah, it's got a nice stretch. Really nice stretch. And it doesn't um, flare out like the surprisingly <clears> stretchy <throat> bind off sometimes yeah. flares out. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't wait to wear this. No, that's really nice. It fits really, really nice. nicely. I'm sure you'll see it again. Yeah. I'll be wearing it when yeah. the weather gets warmer. Well done. I love that. Thank you. Right. My first one is... So, on the last podcast, oh. you um, were knitting with... Drops air. Yes. And I said I have never used drops air. And <clears throat> Amanda from Norfolk Girls Knitting. Yeah. Uh, messaged me and said I've got a couple of balls left over. If you want to try it. So I was like, oh yes, please. So she sent me. I think it was two and a half balls that I got. Oh, that's lovely of her. Um. So I ended up knitting oh. Hudson. It's so nice. A flax by Tin Can Knit. Um, I missed up oh. a bit on my so on one part of the garter because I've done the actual garter sleeves. Um, but yeah, I love it. It looks lovely. Doesn't it feel nice? It's so soft. I mean, so I knit this in the one to two <gasps> because I thought with the like at the minute he's putting everything in his like his hands and yeah. pieces. So I've done it in an age one to two. Isn't it so cute? That's adorable. I love the um, the way the garter yeah. looks in the drops there as well. Yeah, it's so nice. So soft. I actually want to knit myself one now, a flax. Yeah. In this, but yeah, so with one of them, I, uh, with the sleeves, so I, I really don't like Magic Loop, but i done my Magic Loop, but my join was in between. Oh. And I kept thinking, oh, no, this isn't going right. But then I was like, why don't you just put the garter and that side on one needle and then the rest on... And then it worked. It worked yeah. perfect. So I didn't have to have it going down. Is it in the pattern, the seams down the middle of the garter? Or is that just how it works out? Yeah, that's just how it worked out. Cause like, you put, obviously, with Magic Leap, you put half on one needle, half on the oh, other. Oh, I know what you're so saying. Instead, so it wasn't the beginning of the no, round, it was it that wasn't bit. The, yeah, it was the join. Right. So yeah. instead, I just put more stitches on one needle and then the others on that. Oh, it gave and you a little it, ladder. It, it gave yeah. me a ladder, yeah. So, but yeah, I love this. That colour. The feel as well. of it as well. Oh, that is the softest. Yeah. Beautiful. It's so nice. I just love it. I but love yeah, it. I'm definitely going to get some more. Yeah, I've knit it bigger. So, but when he's uh, because he's crawling and everything. How is he? Now. Yeah. Bless him. But yeah, I love that. But doesn't it just feel? It's lovely. I need to. I need to get a sweaters. Yeah, seeing for me. it because I, I, I'm knitting something in it, but it's a, a looser gauge than this. So seeing it at a nicer, tight gauge. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need it. So a... I, I think, what did I knit this on? Can't remember. Four, what... five, four. Can't remember now. I suppose it's a worsted weight, isn't it? Or yes, an Aram, yeah, worsted. It just looks lovely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the really stitches. happy with how. And you don't do the short rows. No. Um, for and I didn't do. Is there short rows in the adult one? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. And it says you can do the short rows. Yeah. But have you got the Tin Can Knits app? No. Oh. After this, I will show you. It is amazing. So it's free. Mm -hmm. Um. All So you put in exactly what you want. Like it will ask you each bit. Of and what? And then it, does it give you the clear instructions for your thing? Rather your than thing instead of all those numbers. Yeah. yeah. So I put in age one to two. And then it said, do you want short rows or not? We we uh, suggest not doing short rows in this age group. So then I put no short rows. And then the pattern comes up how you want it. Oh, it's so oh, good perfect. and it's all free. So good. But yeah, you definitely need to download that. I will, yeah. And then, so that's for any... And, and also, so with the flax, that's in my projects. 
So I can go back to where oh, I'm... Oh, it's saved. Yeah. It's so That's good. Brilliant. It's so good. But yeah, you definitely need to download Yeah, because sometimes I get put off because of all the numbers and then I'm going to look back. There's just so many numbers. Yeah. Yeah. That... What colour was this? Uh, 16. Yeah, so thank you, Amanda. Hudson's got a nice new sweater out of it. So cute. Right, what's the next one? I've got a route around in my bag down here. Mm -hmm. So this was, again, a really long-term project. And I I didn't worry about how long it was going to take. Yeah. I just knit on it as and when I wanted to. And this is the, um, the zigzag scarf by Christy Cam. And I knit this in Selva Ball. Yeah. Crazy Selva Ball in... I'm going to do the German Flussbett <laughs> and Sandhor colourways. That is really I've nice. got that in the thing, but yeah. <gasps> so I just alternated the two, um, the two colours, yeah. just striped, striped throughout. Um, and again, I did that same cast off. That, um, yeah, because That's it matches so their long tail, the long -tail ca cast on. Actually, see if we can hold up both. If we turn it over, so this is it's the cast on. Way. Yeah, I think that's the cast on, and that's the bind off. Yeah. Did they stretch the yeah. same? Yeah. <gasps> that's so, so good to know. But I've got this. I've got this in my library. Yeah. It's do. a free pattern, as so well. Nice. Is it easy? Is it yeah. like a simple repeat? Like it's you a, can remember it's a, it. It's a one row repeat. All oh, right. So yeah, you, what's it? So um, do you do one by what, like one colour, then one row of the next? Yeah, because you go one row and you've got to come back. And then, and then I change the it. So I changed it on one side and it's probably this side um, because that hasn't got as much give. Right. As this side's got, oh no, okay, it's all right. Yeah, no. It's not too bad. But I, the only thing I changed in the pattern is I did a... Um, I cord. I called down the edge, which actually meant it probably isn't as long as it would have been in the pattern because yeah, that's that all that extra yarn that could so have been nice. a few more. Oh, it's perfect oh. length though. But yeah, there's the back, oh. and then but I love it. It's, it's like so nice. seventies. Um, yeah, but I love these colours as well. Yeah, I'll put it on to show the so you can obviously goes down to there have it like that i love those older balls i still need to use mine well that's what i was thinking because you've got that autumn one haven't you yeah you could do this and buy another one and stripe i've got the other one and i've got the oh you've got two i've got the autumn and the was it early autumn inspiration yes, and think, late yes. autumn inspiration yeah but obviously you can do it like that oh i love it when i finished this i was like scarves yeah i know i because they can be a cow yeah. kind of thing like this or you know you can wear him like i just yeah wore it obviously if you're out and it's cold and suddenly round your neck yeah. you've got that's really but nice. people find them boring those scarves because it's just the same thing over and over and this was on i did this on three millimeter i don't even know if the pattern called for three millimeter you could probably go up to 3.5 or even four i don't yeah. think you need to do it this tight but yeah it was... but no it does it looks nice it's perfect perfect size the whip's perfect. I love it. Really nice. Thank the colours are beautiful. Yeah. That's it's... the best thing about a Zolba boy, though, isn't it? So when you're do it yeah. just makes it look amazing. Those you know, stripes. Yeah. I love that. I love how it fades in and out yeah. as well. Like it's some so are more nice. defined and. But yeah, I, I thought of it. I think like people think of blankets where it's a long-term project. You're like, I'm not going to yeah. finish it anytime soon. Yeah. And it would be something that I'd always sort of take with me. Or when I wanted mindless knitting, I'd yeah. pick this up. And don't talk yeah. about blankets. <laughs> oh, have you got loads? <laughs> I never finish them. I'm terrible. And I really want to. But I think just because they take so long. And I said to you last time, didn't I, after the podcast, oh, I'm going to knit two rows on Shannon's granny stripe. Yeah. <laughs> have I? No. You haven't done it? No. I really need to get my button gear. I suppose when they're small, it's easier. When they and that's get all bigger. I've been wanting to do anyway. I've only been wanting to do small 
projects at the moment. Yeah. That's what's giving me joy at the moment. That's it, and that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. You're just working on what you want to work on. Yeah. Right, what am I doing now? Oh, that one I want to do. So, on the last podcast, I showed my Maxine hot water bottle. Oh, wow. So, I finally finished it. Now, as you can see, <laughs> the cuff, I knit too small. Because when I was making it, I tried to fit it onto the, like before the decreases, yeah. I tried to fit it onto this water bottle. It wasn't having it. I thought, oh no, I've knit, uh, like my gauge is wrong. Right. So I ordered a smaller hot, oh, water, this... hot water bottle and it fit perfect. Oh. So I done the cuff to this hot water bottle. Yeah. Not remembering that when you block, Oh, so once I blocked this, <laughs> then it didn't fit that one. It didn't fit this one. It was too big, and obviously I've knit the. But I'm going to unpick the, um, off the bind off, and then just I'll make it longer. Make it a little bit longer. I mean, I'm not bothered, but I do want to. But yeah, that's just this. This is how my mind is going. <laughs> I'm just at the minute I've got too many things on my mind and i'm just making stupid mistakes but i love this well this... You've, you've got it it's finished yeah, it it's looks finished. amazing yeah. your tension's amazing i love that it's a uh, knit out of drops uh merino extra fine in the colors main colors 35 contrasting colors are 08 and 36 was that the dk yes DK. yeah okay yeah that's beautiful but yeah i love it not too bad is it i love that and the colors together yeah so yeah at least it's finished you could probably crochet one for this and just yeah um because you it's easier to yeah yeah but yeah i was just <laughs> what a stupid thing to oh. no i'd have done the same thinking yeah. it doesn't fit but it fit it fit lovely i can't remember if i took a photo of it on this i was like oh i love it but then i thought oh, that's no, I amazing block though because the difference yeah Put it in front of it. Yeah, look that's at the quite a big difference. If it fit that perfectly, it, fit it, it perfect. stretched, and I suppose it's supposed to be snug. Yeah, round it as well. Yeah, but yeah, never mind. It's done, and yeah, I can uh, just make that a little bit longer. I love that. Yeah, I think did I do one by one? Yeah, one by one. Was it one by one? Yeah, it's one, one by one. one. Yeah, I mean, or you can just fold it up like that and not... Yeah, it does not look nice and folded down. Yeah. It's got that kind of neck band look. But it's done. That's good. I feel like we're rushing through things. Maybe not. Okay. So this one I didn't even show you before as a whip, but it was... I've been working on it for a while. I, I did start it in December, but I didn't bring oh, it right. last time. I forgot to bring it. Yeah. But it's the... We all know this. Sophie Shaw... Beautiful. by um petite knit and i held two yarns two two fingering weight yarns together i'm gonna bring this over so i'm not turning around um british where am i woolly knit british wool cone in oatmeal and the footprints wool addicts lang yarns i got some for you in the summer as well i think yeah. i got yes you did you oh, got it was your too. birthday was it your birthday my birthday yeah um, so it was a cotton, they were cotton and wool, like yeah. rainbow yarns. So I'll bring it closer so you can see the oh, colours. So, yeah, a rainbow yarn with the oatmeal just softens it yeah. again. I love But I didn't that. really follow the pattern. I just, what did I do? I think I like to have 10 grams over half before i then do the decreases oh right so oh that's lovely I did did love i say it. sophie's shawl yeah it's a yeah no you said scarf i think it's but a it shawl. shawl it's a shawl yeah. one i love that so. i've been wearing mine out on the dog walks my yeah, yeah. big sophie shawl. It's, it's nice so though nice. it's a nice size yeah and again you know you can just yeah you can just have it yeah like that i made one for my mum and she wears it like that got her hair knit into it 
Oh, I, I have hair in it indoors. Um, but yeah, really nice. That's a nice knit as well, isn't it? Yeah, relaxing. And I think with around Christmas, a sort of. Yeah. Mine was knitting. Mine yeah. was knitting. You can just knit on. Although I did use, I put stitch markers in every increase or decrease row, yeah. and then I counted the, um. What are they called? The ribbing. Yeah. Uh, the garter. Yeah, garter. Garter bumps. bumps. And I counted those. See, I don't. I just sit with a notebook. I did. And right. obviously sitting with it. And and sometimes you don't remember. Yeah. Especially on the smaller ones. Then yeah. you're forgetting. Yeah. And actually just putting a stitch marker there. It's so meant. much easier. Yeah. And I actually put three. So I put it in uh, three sets of the increase. Right. And then I just took the bottom one and moved it up. Yeah. Oh, so, brilliant. Yeah. That made it a lot easier yeah. with not having to worry about notepads or anything so you can take it around with you but yeah that was another Love that. fun mindless project uh what else have i got oh these <sighs> so i'll take the labor out of them i started these when uh shannon was in hospital these are just a vanilla pair of socks so but i done the contrasting uh cuff heel and toe in the cardamom yes west yorkshire yeah video. i mean it's not a perfect match but i think it goes all right um but yeah just done what? a two by two so you only did the contrast so these stripes here aren't the cardamom no this is head over heels head over heels uh stylecraft head over heels in the colorway hike so this is walking in nature but as you see that's how it knits up. That's gorgeous. They look like scrappy socks. Did you think I'd done all colour work and... <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd done scrappy socks. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my own pattern made up. <laughs> look at my afterthought heel though, look. Oh, they're not, they're, they're not twins, they're, they're sisters. Oh, what, with, the, with their colour? Oh, yeah. do you know what? I hadn't even noticed. I was looking... I didn't notice what... until I blocked them, put them up and then I was looking and I was like, oh... But no, that's fine. You won't even notice. It's because I try. I took some of the yarn off to try and get it, and they're not. They're not spot on. I they're near those. enough. Though. But yeah, I love doing the afterthought hill again. And this time with the afterthought hill, I put a bit of waste. Oh, you did the waste yarn thing. Instead. So yeah, so I um put two lifelines. Right. Uh yeah, done one lifeline. Knit the waist yarn and then you slip that back onto the needle right and then knit the next row and put a lifeline in that so then you just carry on and then literally you just take that bit of bit out and you've got your lifelines there well not yeah lifelines so you don't have waist yarn yeah, yeah. not lifelines waist yarn yeah same, same thing. thing yeah um yeah so you can just pick up the stitches they're so fun but yeah i love i love those, those. yeah really nice Obviously, it's got the sort of colour work style yeah. stripe as well. Yeah, I thought you'd striped the... Um, no. That these bits were the same. <laughs> and then you'd use the self-striping for yeah. the rest. No. Fun. Yes. You was, like, all proud of me. Then. You was, like, oh, wow. I thought well that was done. Cool. I thought that was so good. <laughs> that well was done. done. <laughs> well, still, it's still good because you still paired it all yeah. together, and doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing but your yeah. afterthought. But they do look... Um, Scrappy. Scrappy. Love that. But that's what I like about the Head Over Heels and what else does it? Is it just drops fade or do longer ones as well? Not like that. Not like that. No. no. But yeah, I love those. They're fun. They're mine. I'm having them. <laughs> I'm keeping them, Mum. Gonna have a, another sip of water over there. Yeah, over there actually. So this other one was the, um, I'll pull it out. So this I just worked up really quickly. I haven't um I haven't shown it as a whip again as well. And this is the Tolster Tea by Rebecca oh. it's Clow. 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 Oh, Rebecca Clow. Clow. Oh, the, the Crayer Bear name yeah. podcast as well, which is amazing. Go and check yeah. her out. Amazing designer. I'm loving all her all her designs. Yeah. And I She's loved... only been doing it 18 months as well. Yeah. She's amazing. Really is amazing. I, I loved this and how easy 
it was to understand and everything. Yeah. Again, I think I've knitted hairs into this. Um, and with this is the DK version I did, but you get the fingering weight yep. version in the pattern. And I thought, you know what? I need, I've, I've been wanting a raglan DK basic yeah. pattern to be able to keep making. Yeah. Um, sorry, my brain today. You know, one you can go to and then yeah. you can... Well, oh, you can do so much, can't Actually, you? there's you can another... There's another um, <clears throat> download that comes with it with how you can customise it to put yeah. sort of eyelet rows in yeah. or do other things. I was thinking of maybe doing one with a panel yeah. down the front. Anyway, hand spun. Really feel, nice. feel it. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. It's really itchy. It, yeah. It's um it's hand spun, but it was what was it? Jacob Humbug fibre that I got from Wing and Wall and spun up. And then the stripes are this hat yeah. So it's oh, the right. John Arbans um so Apple nice. Door in the quench colourway. But I yeah, love it's, that. it's 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 yeah. it might soften up. I think that's the Jacobs. Or it might be where I spun it as well. I don't know, but it's... it's it, Rustic. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely have to wear a long sleeve top. And actually, I did wear a long sleeve top underneath. And I went out um, to meet my friend wearing it. And I was still... It was still itching. Right. Me, so... No, that's lovely, though. I love that. I want to get one of these I on the I will definitely needles. be making more. I see so many people there. And they make... Loads of them, don't they? Amanda out from Norfolk, yes, and she's done a few. But it's five millimeter needle on DK, so it knits up really quick as yeah. well. So actually, I'll see if we can see if that will show. You hold it for me, and I'll see if you can see my hand free. I don't know if that shows. No, you can't really. No, you can't really. No, you can't. So. No, that's nice. Look how much you've knit. Yeah, I've hurt my elbows now, though, because I was just knitting and knitting, and obviously with watching the zombies as well, yeah. I was just knitting even faster. And, uh, yeah, I've overdone it. But I think where it's sort of been, it's, it's hiber hibernating oh, time, yeah, wasn't it? it January, yeah. Yeah. early into February. So yeah. I was just, yeah, kept going. Yeah. And inspired by using yarn from Stash, as well and this was really old but i think i spun this jacobs in a tour de fleece maybe maybe it was 21 oh right or maybe even before that might have been 2020 so you finally Could have used been. it yeah and i knew That's it nice was though, isn't it? i knew it was itchy and everything but i yeah. thought with a top underneath and also one thing i have found with itchy wool is the more you obviously I don't I'm not allergic so this wouldn't count yeah. for people who actually come up in a rash and everything. Yeah, yeah. But if it's just uncomfortable, is I just wear it and it and it um it stops yeah itching like I couldn't wear this. No. Before. Right. I remember I got some drops floor and I made a t shirt years ago and it was I, I couldn't no. I couldn't cope with it. Yeah. And now so, no, I think not, using not... it just wearing it yeah. hopefully but not on a hot day. Short sleeve. I wear a long yeah. sleeve underneath. Yeah. And uh, I love that. That's so nice. Love the colour. It's beautiful. Yeah. With the humbug that yeah. it kind of. You're so good at that as well. Choosing what colours. Well, I thought neutrals. I was saying about neutrals when yeah. I got started to put a little rainbow stripe little, in. Yeah, I love that. And the same with that sort of neutrals, but no rainbows. Yeah, rainbows. How can rainbows be neutrals? That's what I'm thinking <laughs> at the minute. Yeah. I love that. Right, uh, I've got one more FO. Yep. You've not even seen this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, me. yay! <laughs> me, oh. Nugget. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so this is a emotional support chicken. I've been seeing them on all the podcasts and I was just like, I need, I've been, I yeah. need an emotional support chicken. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, it's really squishy and lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the emotional oh. support chicken by the knitting tree. 
Um, but I saw Kevin and Ray on uh, Needles at the Ready made one. Yes. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, I really need to. But then Yana. Yeah. When Yana got hers out, I was like, I'm definitely making one. Well, mum had seen it and she said to me, are you going to make an emotional support chicken? <laughs> I was my my mum come around. She went. I need an emotional support chicken. Oh, we got, got puppies. We got a puppy. That's because you got the. Oh, pizza, oh and I really who, want to yeah, eat who, that. You're not having that. Um. So I knit it out of Serda Serda jewel spun Aaron. Uh, in the colourway Citron Sunrise. Oh, it's so soft and lovely. Is that self striping as well? Yeah. Do Did you place the purple stripes? Yes, you play so. Yeah, and that was just a style craft Aaron that I oh. used, and I had no red in the Aaron. So, but I had a Karen, Karen cakes in an Aaron, but it was like all different colours. So I oh, cut, you cut the cut the red out. Yeah, but yeah. So I named Nugget. I've called her Nugget. Eyes. Yeah, you have to take it because I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> I um I would have made her more sturdy, but I ran out of. I think that's a nice plumpness. She's cute, isn't she? I didn't think I'd ever... That's my first knitted toy. Like... Yeah. Yeah, I've never knit... I've only knit... Um, yeah, I've never knit any toys. Just crocheted, yeah. So easy. Oh. She's cute, isn't she? Adorable. I love, love I love the colours and the purple stripe. Yeah. So I know you have to seam. Seams yeah, look nice. Seams, no, don't seam my no, seams. No, they do. Like they do. They are bad. No, you They're haven't very... done them. You haven't done them invisible. No. But by doing them the same all the way throughout, yeah. it's, a, it's a ridge there, but it looks nice. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, oh, I'm so disappointed in my seams. But no, it looks lovely. Yeah. I like it as a ridge. She's so cute. I love her. No. Oh. There you go, Nugget. You can sit there. Adorable. <laughs> yeah. I had to make I one. Think I've seen people I actually make thought them, you would have made I've... <laughs> She loves it. I actually thought you would have made one. It's a really nice tactile project as well. Because you obviously to see it is one thing, but to hold one. Yeah. I feel relaxed already. Yeah. Yeah, they they work, don't they? Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. Is she gonna she sits yeah. there? Oh, love that. Oh, right. So, I've seen this. This is the, it doesn't, I haven't blocked it or whatever. So, it's the Bosca by Jonathan, Days. Jonathan Day. Day. Um, from Jonathan Day's podcast. And yeah. this was actually his pattern that he gave for free to his viewers. And I just didn't download it in time. I yeah. must have missed the... The next episode when it was yeah. being downloaded i didn't see it and so anyway i bought the pattern it's it's paid for pattern now but i don't mind because it supports because him. i messaged you didn't i yeah. did i message you on that and say oh jonathan days has got a new pattern it's free yeah but only i think totally only forgot. it was only for his viewers yeah so if you watch it on the podcast yeah. and i just hadn't seen that as soon as it came out so yeah. by the time i'd seen it it was but i think this is his first pattern amazing really well written and i really liked the way it was spaced right so you know sometimes patterns are all squished together and you look back at it and you can't see yeah. where you are there's nice spacing between and sort oh, of highlighted nice. panels everything's yeah. clear to understand so it's knitting drops merino extra fine dk same as your hot water bottle yeah and you cast on and knit this color work panel and then you fold it over and bind off. So uh, what's that called? Double folded? Brim. Brim. So you pick yeah. up the stitches. Yeah, yeah. I did find that quite difficult. So what I did is I actually picked up the stitches on another needle. And then I joined them right. together. Yeah. How it says in the pattern. Yeah. And. I love Yeah. That. So it actually I'll put it on. This is the large size and I made it for John. Um, and so. It's actually, I've got to fold it down a bit because he's been wearing it differently. So it's kind of shaped to his head now. Oh, but I love that. But this bit wouldn't have, yeah. Yeah. So it's, I'll show my ear as well. So it's made to fit like that. Yeah. And this is the large size. And I think that's, yeah, fine. Oh, I love um, John, I gave it to him and he said he, he preferred them longer in future. Right. 
and I w was going to make another one and I thought I'm going to make another one for myself and actually seeing how this fits that fits you nice I don't think I need to make it. I think I like that yeah but he's been wearing it like that all oh, right and then that covers his ears yeah. and I knitted to pattern as well the yeah. length what it said so it was the I think there's is there four sizes and this was the largest size but yeah I think that's really cool it's so nice I was interested in like customizing it because this panel could be whatever color work yeah. you wanted yeah that you fold over you could even have two different so half of it you could do one design and then the other half yeah. you could do the other so you've got the option of two yeah um but i think it looks amazing how it was designed yeah. like that it's so good that really, really suits you i love as it as well really unusual it's simple but really cool. Yeah. And I've, I haven't Maybe seen... Or something, can we? Oh, from probably a bit of Drops Alaska. Yeah. But I haven't um, seen anything like this. No. So I love that. And if that's a first design, what cool what, designs yeah. is he going to come up with yeah. next? Yeah. Amazing. He's and actually so going warm. to unravel. Yeah, on the Saturday day. Oh, is he? I think he said he was going on the Saturday. To, we need to go on the Saturday. <laughs> to see. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, and it's double, it's a double, um, well, I suppose that's that's three, isn't it? Yeah. If you fold it up, and then you've got the layers of yeah. um, the colour work strands as yeah. well. Amazing, loved it. So I'm going to make one for myself. Like I said, John wears it like that, which yeah. works as well, and he kind of slouches it a bit as well. Yeah, nice. But really warm. This yarn is perfect for gifts. Yeah. Because it's soft, there's no prickle factor to it at all. Yeah. And so I think everybody can wear it. And I'm sure it's a super wash as well. So it can go in the washing machine. Yeah. Although I just hand. I am. Um, I always, yeah, same. You can things anyway. Yeah. But love that. I love that yarn. I really do love it. Is, the it drops. is good. And it comes in a sort of sport weight as well. And yes. a worsted slash Aaron. Yeah. It's Aaron, isn't it, actually? Worsted. Aaron. <clears throat> More Aaron. Yeah. But the, they actually call it a sport weight now because they used to call it a four ply. Yeah, and it's not, it's, it's a spot. not, yeah. But yeah, so that's Oops, sorry, that one <laughs> dog just wobbled there. Oh, right, it's that's been good. it for my FOs. Shall I see yeah. how many more have I got? I've only got two, so I should probably just, yeah. Sorry, my mouth gets really dry when we're recording these, so I'm yeah. constantly having. I showed this one on Instagram, so people have probably seen it already, but it was just a seed stitch scarf i love that so again i thought of it like a blanket skinny blanket yeah um what did i do sorry notes again so 53 stitches cast on 53 stitches on five millimeter needles and then the first round well all of the rounds rows knit one purl one to the last stitch knit one right and then turn it and you just do the same and you just keep going until you until you've got the length you want so I knit it in Rico Superba Cashmere Luxury Sock and Drops Flora held together. And actually, what did I use? One and a half balls of the Luxury Sock yeah, and three balls of Flora. All right. So what does that make? 150. So it's 300 grams of yeah. yarn all together. And oh, yeah, so nice. it was a self-striping. So I just, you know. Yeah. But it was it was good because then I did it quickly because I yeah. wanted to go on to the next one. Yeah. I loved it, but if you don't like purling and you don't like rib, yeah. if rib is something that annoys you, then this would be yeah. this would be terrible. Because oh, it's, so it's, nice. it's, you know, knit one, purl one. I don't mind rib. I loved it and I loved the rhythm. Yeah. And again, I didn't need to... You don't need to think I about anything. Think. Yeah. And, you know, spending time with the kids and everything and just knitting at the same time and yeah, watching that's... things. Yeah, yeah. I don't didn't need to no but I love this and so yeah I'm thinking I, I want to make more scarves and I want to go through my stitch dictionaries and I've just... been doing that I've been looking through my stitch dictionaries uh... stitch <laughs> dictionaries that's it <laughs> 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 <Back in. laughs> um to to make scarves yeah I've got a um, mosaic stitch dictionary nice and obviously it looks different on the back yeah but yeah, I'm I'm feeling the scarves at the moment. I'll show you how long it so is, nice. even though I showed it on the 
not everyone's got Instagram anyway. Everyone. Oh, you can't see. I mean, no. where does it come down to? Sort of that much above my knee. Yeah. On both sides. That's perfect, isn't it? And obviously wrap it, yeah, yeah, wrap it round loads. and Nice. Simple, so soft. but lovely. Yeah, I will definitely make... Um, and it, it went pretty quick on the yeah. five millimetre needles. And this was the yarn that you got me. Yeah. And your mum, mum and Holly went to the yeah. shop and got me um, the same. The they same. didn't know I had yeah. it. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. So, Out of all the colours as well. Yeah. I was picking these colours. Yeah. So soft. I love this. Yeah, it's really nice. And you've used 300 grams of your yarn. Yeah. Which is... So it's, yeah, yeah. using up um, using stash. Up but I'm stash. loving this sort of... Um, holding things doubled with yeah. either drop drops or woolly knit yeah and then having the bigger weight but yeah yeah obviously if you're coming up with your own scarf it's a lot easier than a shawl where you've got to think about shaping yeah and if you do it side to side yeah. you've got to think do the decreases match the increases yeah have i kept the lace pattern correct which you can chart out there's books i've got a book that's about designing shawls and it says i showed it didn't i yeah about the shaping and things but i'll just do this for yeah. no, no shaping yeah no shaping but yeah like i said people get bored of scarves i i didn't i'm loving them yeah so there's that you've got a lovely pile there i know i was just so nice having it in the bag because i haven't really worn i mean i wore that one out um, but I haven't been wearing things because yeah. I didn't want them to get, I don't know, slunge myself. They're spinning stuff on myself. I forget that people don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and then some socks. So these are just some rib socks. No pattern. I did a one by one rib on the cuff. Why does it stop there? And then I did a three by one. Fish lips kiss heel. And this yarn I was... I love this yarn. It's by Wonderful Wool, and it's the Zebra Sock 4-ply yarn. It didn't have a colour name. Right. And I don't know if she makes sort of repeatable colourways. I've got a feeling she might just make batches and then... Because it hasn't got a colourway name. Right. But on Etsy and Instagram, she's lovely. Always really cool. Um, I love. But yeah, I had to do some rainbows. I had to remind yeah. myself that I'm, yeah. I'm still doing rainbows. No, they're lovely. That colour is beautiful. It's fun. Yeah, and the, obviously with the zebra yarn, yeah. so that's the... Yeah. Yeah, where it's got the black and white yeah. mild bit throughout it. I thought that worked really well. So nice. Some fun. Well done. Sucks. Thank you. I think that's all for... FOs. FOs. So last time I asked for some help, thank you everybody for all your comments and advice as well on how to over dye a sweater so lots of people came forward with ideas there was like um you could dye it with sort of onion skins and tea bags just tone it down a little bit um i went with just over dyeing it yeah and i can't remember who it was who said to sort of soak it and then mandy um from Malta's make said as well about how to do it so what I did is I basically soaked the sweater overnight in cold water. I left it overnight so that it could be fully saturated with yeah. water. Then I had a tin that was about yay big. That was the biggest. It was a jam. It's for making jam. Oh, right. Um, but that was the biggest sort of sauce when I had. So I did it with, what did I do then? Then I put the dye, mixed the dye thoroughly put it in the water cold, put the soaking wet sweater in and I let it soak in there, absorbing the dye for a couple of hours, I think. And then I slowly heated it and then I add, added the mordant, which for me was citric acid. Right. And yeah, so I'll show you the results. So obviously this was sort of the green and neon last time so this is what i've got so now it didn't turn out perfect you can see there's a patch here okay yeah there's also a patch on the bottom i think you can clearly see the patches there yeah 
and you can't actually see it when you're not it looks i knew and i knew it would show up more on the yeah. screen it doesn't actually show at all no. really the front but then the back oh. that's the back with the patch so there's the only part so i'll bring it up close you can let me show a really the really pink here you go so you can still see you can you can see the color yeah pops that i had before but they've been toned down so i still read that as a neon pink but it but it's not it's a maroon yeah. now it's been over dyed yeah so that's what i ended up with i i lo love that color i love it that's beautiful it's I, like the cardamom yeah in it yeah that which and we that's both the, love that's the color i yeah. wanted yeah yeah so that was a yellow that i mixed with black right now what did happen is i mixed too much black and so I thought I'd thoroughly mixed it and I'll, it looked too dark. So I added some more yellow. And I think where I kept adding a little bit more of each to try and get the colour right, I may not have mixed it right. thoroughly. So okay. there's mistake one. Yeah. Two, I don't think the saucepan I used was big enough. Okay. So what could have happened is, especially this back bit here, is that that was sat on the bottom of the saucepan. Yeah. And as it heated, that die gripped there before anywhere else yeah okay i absolutely love it i've been wearing it yeah constantly it's so warm and this is my favorite color yeah the the thing between green and yellow the color yeah i love so yeah that's so nice looks much better suits me more yeah but obviously i have got this thing but um Evelyn just called it Barry. She looks like I've got a dark shadow on my shoulder following me around. <laughs> it's just Barry following you around. But I love that. Yeah, it's just Barry. <laughs> but even with that, it doesn't bother me at all. No. I really, yeah. I've got an amazing sweater that I want to wear all the time. Warm, yeah. comfortable, goes with all my other stuff. Love it. Yeah. But just that's the warning to anyone else who wants to do it. I think I said my instructions. If you want to know more, if you go back into the last episode, it's in the comments. Yeah. And actually, it was a reply to someone else's comment when somebody said to leave it to soak and do all those things. And then um, Mandy added some other things to do with it, I think, which was leaving it soaking in the dye. Yeah. Without. So it worked really well, apart from that. Yeah. But all in all, I love it looks. It. I mean, it helps because the colour's a bit grungy anyway, so yeah. it, it doesn't matter that it's got those. I mean, if it was a, if it was a yeah. pink or yes. something, it might be. Yeah. It might not really work, but. Oh, I love it! I love that colour. Yeah, yellow and black. Yeah. That's gets mad. you these type types of greens. Love well it. Done. But yeah. Well, not that's perfect. it, but you can still wear it and you prefer it to what you... Yeah, I will wear it more than I did. And obviously it's good because it proves the point it doesn't actually, or it doesn't work out. It's risky. Yeah. It is risky to over-dye. So, I mean, obviously if I wanted that black, oh, yeah, I yeah. could just over-dye it now and I could keep over-dyeing it until yeah. it wasn't until it was... patchy at all, yeah. but I didn't. So. No, no, I love yeah. that. Yeah, nice experiment worked yes. out. Yes. Right, let me see... Oh, I'll show you this one first. Ooh. Gorgeous greens. Yeah. Oh, I'm into green at the moment. Yeah. Really, I love it. That's gorgeous. So, let me find the... So, this oh. is the Shortbread Hat by Brogan Murray. Oh. And it has... Let me try it. I haven't got my needle stickers. Oh. This Celtic... Gorgeous. Um, ...cable going up the middle... And then you've got all the little... Oh, so it's got one main cable. One main cable, and then you've got all the little cables going up around it. That's gorgeous. This is so much fun. So much fun. Um, but yeah. I love that. I, I love doing cables. I love that, going in and out. In and out of each yeah. other. So this is being knit out of Drops Lima. It's Drops Lima? Yeah. This is like a heathered. Yeah, I don't know if that's yes. showing up. It's so, This is a heathered one. Yeah, it's a mix. Uh, oh, is the colour called yeah, mix? Yeah, Drops Lima mix. 
yeah it's like iridescent almost yeah. it's got it's got three or four different greens colorway 0705 Ooh. so that's a dk it's dk, DK isn't it? really soft oh, yeah. i'm so enjoying this Gorgeous. and obviously when you've got all the stitch markers you know if you make oh, a yeah. mistake oh you know you know oh actually i think that's yeah. the point on that zigzag scarf i actually put stitch markers right okay so i would so you wouldn't you catch yeah. it straight away then but yeah i can't wait for this to be finished that's I've gorgeous put a, i'll put a picture in of, of the, the finished finish. Just so people can see with that. our whips. It's easier to do that with the whips, isn't it? Yeah. So people know. But yeah. So much fun. And I love the colour. Oh, you're gonna get so much wear out of that. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. So and it's not it's not hard to make. Four inch. Like you said, with the stitch markers, you'll catch it if yeah. you Yeah. And it's the one main cable, they're a simple they're two simple. Yeah. two by two, aren't they? Yeah. Two. Yeah. And I I'm love just, the I'm... ridge, the garter ridge down. That yeah. is garter, isn't yeah. it? Because normally they're on a reverse stockinette background. Yes. But with it being garter, that pops yeah. more as well. And I'm just, uh, I've just got, I've printed out the chart. Yeah. And then I'm just well. crossing off. Because one of the charts, so the Celtic one is 16 rows. Yeah. But the cable one is 18. So you've then got to remember to... The cable one. Yeah. So oh, the smaller ones. The smaller were an 18 one, row or, or was it the? Or it might be the opposite way around. Right. The Celtic might be the 18 row, and the cable might be the 16 row. So you've obviously got a. So when you get to the 16, you've then got to go back, and start again. So you oh, do they'll two be at repeats, different times. They'll be at different times. So you've got to treat yeah. them as two different yeah. charts. So fun, this though. isn't something that I can just sit there when dogs are jumping on me and. No. <laughs> No, or but a nice one when, you, when you've when you got a clear time yeah. to do it and not yeah. being distracted. Yeah. So it's not mindless, but no, fun. It's not, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm really, I've got to do a cable jumper. Yeah. That is my next thing that I really, I love cables. I, I really but love I'm just, cables, I yeah. think I'm just worried that, you know, I could get to nearly finishing a jumper and then make a mistake. That worries me. I think the I'm thing about sweaters is it's the f the fit as well. You yeah, have to and worry the about yeah. the fit. Yeah. Whereas a scarf, yeah, doesn't really matter too much, no. does it? So you, yeah, I would say probably swatching as well is important with a cable. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not me, never. Not me, never. <laughs> I have actually got. Oh, you've been swatching. Oh, good. I do, I do quick, I do a quick swatch. Whereas I, 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 I don't block a swatch. I cast on. I just look and say, is it out yeah. by a lot? If you stretch it a little bit, does it work? I'll yeah. explain it. <laughs> oh, nice. Right. So, what have I got now? So, obviously, with sorry, I got really <laughs> with you showing your litmus cow in yeah. your Chiffon's Crafts colorway. I thought I've got to do a tube. Yeah. And I have to like the 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 rainbows were too yeah. too fun. Um, so I used my hand spun off on it out. I wanted to do a colour work. Oh, that's a nice bag. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, Tracy's. Bag. Tracy's bag that she took me with the alpacas on. Right, I've got wrapped around a cable here. Hang on. So my hand spun that this was from All to Die For on Etsy. So I dyed the braid and then I spun it like a fractal. That is so nice. Two ply. And I thought I want to do a tube scarf thing with, um, here we go, with oh, a wow. sort of simple colour work repeat. Yeah. So there wasn't a pattern for this. I cast on 120 stitches on three millimetre needles, provisional cast on in the round. Yeah. And then I just started doing this. Um, and then I was like, okay. And then I just... So that's got three stitches in that in between that one and this one has five stitches. Right. And it has one row in between each thing. And I just kept repeating it. So it's colour work, but it's sort of mindless. Yeah. Colour work because it's easy to read. That there we go. is stunning. Um, I'm halfway through. So it'll be a double wrap. Did I say it was woolly knit? Yeah, woolly knit. 
is what I um, did as the contrast. Well, no, I suppose yeah. that's the contrast, the main colour. And that's what I used on my champagne cardigan. Yeah. It's the, uh, uh, what's it called? Aran Cream Nep. And so it's got black neps in it as well. So the background's got the oh, neps. and so then. nice. I love that hand spun. It's fun colours. That is so it good. It was. And it just, just proves the point that, you know, I can't not do this. No. I can't deny... This was so fun to spin, so fun to knit with. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. That's stunning. So, oh, hello. Hang on. So, yeah, it'll be double this. Yeah. So, it'll be able to wrap around twice. Nice. But these are fun. They, um, so it's, it's kind of based off the litmus. It's just a, yeah. but it's 120 um, stitches on three millimetre. And I think the litmus is a free pattern. Yeah. It's a hundred stitches on three point five, I think. That's a good idea. Yeah, I've just put a hairband at the I've end. Got so many hairbands. That is such a good idea. Yeah, because this was gonna. I wasn't gonna have this popping off. The, no. It was one of the smaller hairbands, yeah. not the big ones. But yeah. yeah, I just tied it elastic around there, stopped the good idea. stitches. But that's been fun. I love that rainbows. But obviously, it just looks like stripes. And then I was like, should I just have striped it? No. Have I just wasted no, loads of time doing it. the colour work? No, you can see it. But I love colour work and I love the yeah. rhythm of the... That's lovely. But yeah, and then it's got this blue bit that we'll come into soon. Yeah. But yeah, fun. That is fun. That's an exciting, fun project to yes. do, isn't it? Yes. I love that. Which I had to after seeing yours, um, your neon, and I was like, what? Yeah. That's too... Yeah. Right, too I'll... good not to. Uh, right, I'll mention this one now. Oh. Ah. So this, I mean, you, you're not going to be able to see much because it's not loads that's been done. This is the Rue sweater by Rebecca Clow. Is it Clow or Clo? I don't know. I should know. I need, she it, says, I watch it. She says yeah, her names. I yeah. On our podcast, yeah, I think it's Chloe. Chloe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll put a picture in of the finished jumper because you're not going to see it. Right, me. I've got these. Um, oh my god, oh. look! Oh no, <laughs> stitch markers. I'm all right. <laughs> Is this the beginning of the round? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's why. Yeah. I always stop one stitch before the beginning. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, it wasn't. I did stop. I'll be able to work it out. You'll put those on. I'm after. saying I'll be able to work it out. I'm ripping this out. Really? Yeah. Because, so I actually gauge swatch. Done a gauge swatch. Oh, in colour work? Not in the colour work. Okay. <laughs> Not in the colour work. <laughs> um, And I got it. I got gauge. Yeah. So this is it out of uh, Drops Charisma. Um, I, I done it in the round. Your swatch? Yeah. Yeah. In the round, so you know when you take the... So I've done the gauge swatch, got gauge, I thought, brilliant, excellent. Started it, didn't read the pattern first, but the beginning is worked flat. So you're knitting, purling, knitting, purling. Is your gauge that much different in flat? Yeah. Really? Three stitches out, which is quite a lot. Oh. I think I, I must be a tighter... I must be... I think it's because... The pearls make it looser. Is it looser or tighter? Oh, don't ask me. No. I, always, I always find it, it difficult. Must be tighter, if you've got too it? many... If it takes you too many stitches to reach four inches, then actually your thing will be smaller. I think it's that way around. This is going to be smaller than it should be, not bigger. If it's three inches too many. If it's three stitches too many. Yeah. Yeah. In because the... more stitches is actually smaller. smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be too small. And the only reason I, I'm so glad I did, I kept looking, thinking, so I just got to the colour work and I was like, mm, this is looking quite small. So I get, I got my tape measure out and I was like, oh, it's three stitches. Three stitches too many? It's too many. How, oh my. Yeah, three stitches. When I do a little, even just do a test thing, if, if something's three stitches it's too many, too it's too much. Yeah. If it's what one or two stitches out, I just stretch it and I go, now does it 
Yeah. Because obviously you've got to remember, remember if it's blocked. Yeah. Do I carry on or do I just go up a needle side, rip it out, go up a needle side? It's a DK it's... and it's on a 3.75. Yeah, go to a four. Go to a four. That's what oh, I would I, I don't know why it's always difficult for me to I'm understand the, the thing. I think it's because it's, it's not what you think it is. Yeah. But um, obviously, the, I mean, you can't really see with this. You've got to pick up the neck band the neck band after. But you I'm definitely it to, doing it. You want it to be right. Yeah. I do know that it's supposed to be... It's quite tight Rebecca was, fitting. Yeah, yeah, on the shoulder it's supposed to fit really well. Yeah. And the shape and it's Because it's done got a lovely... That. Look, if you... Like the shape, shoulder shaping. Yeah, it's going to sit. so interesting. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, now's the time to do it. Yeah, before I get too far. Because if you go further and then you regret it later. Yeah. It's better if something fits you and it's too big. Yeah. Than if it's too small. I will yeah. say there's always that. Do you have to go up a needle size for the colour work though? When you knit, going to have, have to you knit? What... Yeah, you're knitting colour work yokes in, aren't you? Have you? Do you go up a needle size if you're doing a colour work? I don't normally, yoke? but then I've never had a. Because I I normally do go up a needle size for the colour work. So if you were doing a four on the, you would go up to a four. Point five. I wouldn't 0. be happy 5. about it because I prefer a tighter colour work. But yeah. I would because it would definitely be different. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you want it to be right, don't you? So... I was, uh, and I, I'm really enjoying it. So, I'm look. I've got you now, anyway. <laughs> stitches have all come off. <laughs> so I've got you anyway. You're just gonna, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rip it out, and then go up a needle size. Yeah. Because I'm not even bothered about having to do all this again. Because no, I really enjoyed doing it. But I did want to say, like, with the make one. So make one left pearl. Yeah. You do a a make one left pearl. I know how to do it. It's oh. just the... You know you have to pick up the bit in between. Mm -hmm. So do I pick up the front one? Because you're doing it... No. Do I pick up the in back some, one or the front? In some patterns, they have you do it completely different. You do it exactly the same as a make one left On the knit, other side. Knit side. You just pearl it instead. Right. Okay. But I had this pattern and it said that. And when I looked it up, I, when I actually looked, I had to do the opposite. Right. So a make one left pearl, you'd actually do. But no, it you do exactly what you would have been knit, but you just pearl it right, okay. instead. So if you knit into the back loop, it is left. I remember it's left out back. Yeah. Right out front. Yeah. And. Yeah. yeah so you have to pearl into the back. But, yeah, I, yeah, I know that. It's just the, you know the bit in between. So the bit the you strand, pick up. Yeah. On, when you're doing it flat. On the pearl side, am I pick? There's two strands. Oh, the one. Am I picking the back one up or the front one up? Oh, I get you. Yeah. Oh, right. I I've been picking the back one up, but I think I should be just picking the front one because that's the same one as you'd always be picking up. Pick up the same one you always pick up. Yes. Yeah. You pick up the same pick one you always same, pick up. Yeah, because so again that that's good because I haven't been, and then you can see it's a bit. Oh, it's holy. a bit different there. Where is that side? Yeah. Sorry, there's yeah. me going into No, it's, it's because I can't explain it properly. Yeah. I couldn't explain exactly what I meant. Yes. But yeah. The one closest to you, I think I was doing. Yeah. Because it's the same. You have to do that on the tolster as well. Some of them are make one pearls. Right. Because okay. with the way you're doing the short rows. Yeah. You, you have to do some of the increases yeah. that way. So the same thing here, which is, yeah, a bit to get your head around. But once you do that, then you've yeah. got it. Okay. So you can do yeah. that for the, yeah. So that's worked out anyway. Okay, brilliant. And there was a knot. I was really annoyed there was a knot in this. Oh. So, again, I'm going to obviously rip back. I'm going to use new balls. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think I've got more. Yeah, cut the knot out and then yeah. have it as separate. and then have it as separate, yeah. For later on when it's got yeah. the colour work. But I definitely, I can't wait to finish this. It's gorgeous, yeah. I brought um, a sweater's quantity in the charisma in this green and then i bought the daisy as well in green in green oh good i am in a green as you can see i've got even yes, green nails they're, they're gorgeous green's as well. my thing at the moment but yeah so that's a fail 
Well, it's not going to no, be a fail. No. It's not actually a fail. I've, it's at the right time that I... And that's... Yeah, you've got to... I want the perfect sweater. So I... Yeah. You don't... Yeah, don't regret it. So no. Really, I should never have knit this the one I dyed. Right. Because I was laughing at how ugly the colours were together when I was here on it. Right. And I was just thinking, this is funny. Yeah. And I carried on and it's not... Yeah. It's not funny to do that. Right, I'm going to... You're going to put the name of this... That you're putting the names of the things up. Yeah, there, aren't you? Uh, yeah, and the picture. So the name, I'll, I'll try and say it. Abgarundet by Evgenia Dupli. And this is, I showed this last time, but I showed it in some sort of um, taupe coloured yarn. Yeah. And I was going to use this, what's it called? Drops Air, as. A vest, and I yeah, thought, and I said, it's too soft. Yeah. I need it to be against skin because obviously yeah. this vest I'd wear over the top anyway. It's a scarf. It's from the fifty-two week lane, fifty-two weeks of easy knits book. I'm this far into it. Can you see? Does that show? So yeah, it's it does. the. Oh, oh that's what's lovely. going on here? I think I've pulled out another one. This color was pistachio, I think. But it's 42. I'm sure it was called pistachio. That's so nice. In the drops air. And then, who did I see? Was it Rachel? On Twin Set and Pearl. Rachel was using this Rico. Sorry, I keep having to turn over here. I don't even know where I am now. Put it there. Rico Creative Make It Tweed. And it's a thin thread with little tweedy pops and so again it's like rainbows oh it she, rachel. rachel was using it she used why, why drops, did, how did i not see she used <laughs> drops air in a hat and she held it with a tweed she held it with this i've never seen this so it's just a really thin yeah strand and you just hold it that's fine and then you've got rainbow nips Rainbow nets, yeah. Obviously, you and have also got, got the little, little strands. Yeah, you can the... see the strand so in between fun. the nets. Yeah. But yeah, make it tweed so you can take any yarn. I'm sure this was... It's 450 metres, this, which is actually exactly the same amount of the drops air I have for this scarf. And it's what it calls for. Yeah. I haven't worked on this very much because I'm worried I don't have enough yarn. Even though I have what the pattern called for, but I didn't gauge... And Love it's a that. completely different. But yeah. That is so, where did you get that from then? Well warehouse. <gasps> I've just placed another order at Wool Warehouse. We need to we need to get together another. every we time do. we're doing an order because every time I have to spend you have 30, to spend pounds. 30 pounds. And if <laughs> so you I just want to get delivery. this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's that's that. So oh, soft. I need I'm definitely going on there. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't make too much of a difference to the so you can put that with anything, can't you? As well, yeah. really. This was a chunk. This pattern was chunky, and yeah. this is Aaron. You said was wasn't yeah, it? the drop set. Yeah. But it's what are these six point five? What did they say on them? Yeah, six point five millimeter. So I could finish this quickly. Yeah. But I've just been a little bit like, oh, do I have enough yarn? And I have to pay attention to make sure I've caught both the strands. Yeah. But yeah. It's like the sequins, isn't it? The yeah. Oh. Was... Oh, what are they? Cosmos. Cosmos, yeah. King Carl Cosmos. I've still got loads of that, but I need some of that now. Well, you could do both. You could do tw tweed and sequins and mohair. Does that, doesn't, does that make it... That's not going to change, change your gauge, your gauge is it? I wouldn't no. worry. It's no. so thin. It's, it, you know, yeah. it's thinner than lace, really. Yeah. Definitely thinner than, obviously, a lace mohair. So, yeah, yeah. I didn't even really count no. it as making <gasps> a difference. But that's... Isn't that funny though that you you're doing scarves and that's all I've been thinking about is scarves. I've just yeah, been wanting just... something that's and I haven't. I haven't been. Obviously, I've got a lot of cows and I've got a lot of triangle shawls. Even yeah. though I am making another triangle shawl, and I just thought it's something. Yeah. Love that being able to play. Oh, it feels so nice. It is so soft. That's why I was like, I have to have this. Yeah. Um, against skin and yeah. the vest doesn't matter i could make that out of some really um rustic wool yeah <laughs> and it wouldn't matter so it's it not a shame to that's it 
do that. Oh. Uh, what have I got now? I'll do this one. So this is the Bureau Raised Tail Socks by Twinset and Pearl. Oh, lovely. A lovely lace pattern. Now, I love this. I love this. Pico edge. Folded Pico edge. Gorgeous. So much fun. So much fun. Out folded. Yeah. That's nice. I love it. A different technique as well. Though. Yeah. So you just like. Oh. oh. Puppies. Yeah. So you just fold it over. So nice. That's I won't. Lovely. Um, explain so, yeah. now because paid for pattern yeah it's paid for but yeah these are so much fun i'm absolutely like again i've got to concentrate on what i'm doing but i love the lace pattern that's in gorgeous this. as soon as they put it up i was like oh god it, oh that's the new one yeah so i've got to um enter this into roofs once they're finished tnp tnp oh, oh. i was supposed pretend. to write it down i'll put it up here Roof's um, knit along. Knit with along. It. It's a year long knit along. So, but yeah, I'm loving that. And they're being they're knit out of oh. drops. Nord was it? Yeah. Nord. Yeah. You need to get. I tell you what. You, loom bands. I've got a whole work. box of loom bands. Loom bands, bands down would there. work yeah. because yeah, of dropping up. You don't want to drop. No. Oh, that's so nice. Really nice. That isn't folded. It? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm really enjoying them. But yeah, drops Nord. So what's drops Nord? That's another alpaca. It's alpaca, isn't it? Is it drop? Uh, That's a higher alpaca content of flora. Forty-five percent alpaca, thirty thirty percent polyamide, and twenty-five percent wool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Lovely. Yeah, really nice. Nice in the grey to be able to see the. Yeah, they like they remind me of school socks when oh, you were at primary the school. The little white ones, yeah. yeah. Knee I high love those. lace. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really enjoying those. It's a new one. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is. My, was this one new? I, think I it haven't was. seen I don't it. You've seen it, have you? Yeah. Curly Emma bag. I love her bags. Cute with them. And then it's got the little mushrooms me. around the ribbon. Yeah. Actually, so just mentioning twin set and pearl. Oh, I've still got my cable thing on there. This is the. Hang on. By Twin Set and Pearl, this is the Sophie Cow. Would you better hold yeah. that for me so it doesn't drop? This, yeah, so this is a tubular, um, tubular cow, and with lace and cables. And so the back is just stuck in it. Oh. And then the front has this oh that's nice yeah cable that goes round this little lace or eyelet i suppose yeah just a simple sort of eyelet thing with the cables and that repeats and it's just a once wrapped oh, right, around yeah. and this is in um drops flora, flora. held with kid, kid silk, silk in the i think that will have the colors in the thing yeah yeah just the soft grey. I think it was Moonlight or something. Moonshine, maybe that one was. Um, I've just ordered yeah. quite a bit. And I just use this. I know some people cable without a cable. Needle. I use a wooden DPM. Yeah. To do mine. But they're good. Yeah, so I just use one of these swirly things and then yeah. I just keep it hooked in there yeah. when I'm not using it. But again, like your hat, it's not complicated. No. I don't have, you know, I can check which line I'm on and then I know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. But I don't want distractions or no. whatever. I need to look at what yeah. I'm doing, obviously. But look, yeah. Oh, that's going to be nice. And I think the same with you of obviously picking the lighter colour of letting the yeah. stitches yeah. show. Um, that is going to be so nice. Yeah. Nice and soft as well. Yeah. Lovely. So I'll enter that once that's yeah. um, done as well. Yeah. Fun. I'm definitely going to enter this time got to i don't ever enter anything no i, I knit along yeah <laughs> i just don't right carrying on from twin set and pearl this is 
the Simon Shawl <sighs> by Joanne from Twin Set and Pearl. This I absolutely love. Mosaic so now. Is that mosaic? Yeah. Slip stitches. Oh. Relaxing. So relaxing. So relaxing. And it's got like a eye cord edge. Nice. And I'm loving it. I'm so loving it. I went oh, I down a it. needle size. Yeah. Just because I'm using... So uh, this is what Joanne used as well. The Knitting for Olive Merino. But the size that the pattern calls for, mine was really like gappy. Oh, okay. And you wanted so it a I bit wanted more. it a bit more. So yeah, I'm loving this. But why I'm, why I'm actually knitting it, I'm like... Oh, do this with this i could do this i'll think yeah. of all the combinations so i'm gonna do one with mohair yeah it's like from the from a distance it kind of looks like it's checked yeah but then up close you see these sort of little um yeah triangles it's like yeah interlocking tri i love the striping of the yeah. eye cord as well i had to go I, I admit a lot more of this i had to rip back because i held it up and i was like i had like this white line oh I was no like, no and I, and I kept looking at it, I was like, would I see it? Yeah, I can see <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I'm ripping back. I don't want this to have mistakes in. So how much yarn does it use? Is it 200 two hundred grams? Yeah, two, uh, are these 50 or 100? 50, so 100, uh, uh, two oh. hundred, uh, so yeah, 200 grand skeins. Yes. Yeah. Of fingering. Of fingering. Oh, nice. Yeah. So just two, just two skeins, yeah. contrast and the. Yeah. But I or have these got anything, extra meterage? If these got extra meterage, let me see. Two hundred and fifty, they do. Yeah. So yeah, it Might could potentially be. These are two hundred and fifty meters rather than the two hundred. Around two hundred, you yeah. normally get. So you could, yeah, run into a problem if you just got two. I don't know. I have to check the pattern. Yeah. But yeah. But I want to um, do. I want to do one with mohair. Yeah, now. would that be just a single strand of mohair? You could hold a up, du like double. Yeah. And then another fingering, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Would that be all right? Or that would it would just work. be one. Or one. Yeah. One would. It would just one. be looser. Yeah, it'd just be gauge. Yeah. I love that. But yeah, it's so much fun. Is it a simple, simple repeat? Yeah. Repeat. Yeah. So simple. Yeah. You just. I look at the pattern, and then I can just. Then you go know where across. you are, yeah. And then backwards, you know, anyway. Going oh, it's so the same back as forward. So you just, with... uh, no, it's, it's different. But you, okay, yeah, your second row is easier than your first. But yeah, it's so much fun. I love that. Again, I've used the greens because I'm loving green. And that's, yeah, khaki. Uh, yeah, that's is that a khaki? Uh, yeah, forest. It's, it's called bottle green. Oh, okay, yeah. There and that go. one and the cream is snowflake. Lovely and soft. Yeah, it's nice actually. Mm. Um, it was a bit a splitty. Nice definition. A little bit splitty, but but yeah, it's it's fine. That's fun. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, it would be worth having an extra. I think I'll read the pattern because I was thinking about getting two skeins. Yeah. At unravel. Yeah. For one, but it might not be enough. We'll so. have to have a look, won't we? Yeah. But yeah. I should have looked it up, really. I'll remember that next time to put on your show notes how oh, much yeah. it takes. Yeah, bottle green. Lovely. Yeah, I'm loving that. It's, it's And it's nice to have a sort of simple shape. Yeah. But with. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, overall, it's, it's over. Um, overall? Complete colour work over yeah. it is what I'm trying to say. I can't think of the word. Yeah. All over. Yeah, colour work. all over. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm loving that. And I'm on section, I think it's three. And then... Do the rate, the different rates of increases? Yeah. 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 So... To give the... Yeah. The next, the next section is just literally going to be no... Shaping. Shaping whatsoever. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's so much fun. You, oh, you definitely need to do one of these. Yeah, I'll have a so look and fun. see what the meterage is. Yeah. And if I need to get two. Because if it's more, I'll get a commercial. Yeah. Yarn rather than a um 
Hand dyed. Hand dyed, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. It's fun. So, another um, Rebecca Glow pattern, Stick Season, that I've started, which is... Actually, we put the picture up. Yep, put the picture up. And this is... Um, yeah, this is where I've got so far. And mm. that's... Is that the right size? Yeah. So, that was my swatch. Right, okay. And I think if it was like that, I didn't get gauge, but I just went like that. I was like, there you go. <laughs> got gauge now. Yeah. But to be honest, you, it's, it's probably yeah, that much you... difference of blocking. Yeah. And this has got a bit of stretch to it anyway. Yeah. I did actually go up a needle size. I think it said three, it's actually said 3.5 or whatever you need to get gauge. Right. I've used a 3.75. Yeah. Because when I did it first, it was like not quite. Right. There. So that's the back panel started. I'm on, sh that's the shoulder. And then there'll be a straight, straight down here. And then I think I'll pick up along here. Right. So that's what I'm thinking is happening. I haven't got to that part yet for yeah. the front. So that's just the back panel. And I've, this is in, um, Drops Lima again. Uh, Quarry. I think this was called on, well, sorry, I, think I'd... obviously i wouldn't remember the color 8465 no, 8465 because obviously you could get it somewhere else yeah. where they don't name them but yeah. quarry lovely and soft i love lima i did get this yarn to do the winter's beach cardi which is all over cables right by andrea maori and that's on a five millimeter needle and this on a five millimeter for cables, I was like, "That's too, yeah. that's too loose." I, yeah. I, no way. No. And that's when I thought I'll do this. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be so nice. I've gone up a bigger size than is called for. Okay. The amount of these in the pattern. I went up, so this should have forty-five. Um, this should be the forty-five. Yeah. Or close to forty-five. Yeah. And that would give me eight inches. Right. Wait. Yeah. Eight inches of positive ease, which I haven't had. I think this is sort of... What was this one? I think this one worked out about two inches. Yeah. But obviously that's two inches here. Yeah. Because that's where it's... Yeah. And there isn't that much difference between my belly and bust. Yeah. I haven't got... A... Yeah. But that's... Yeah, the, sorry. The point is in the pattern, I think, if people have got a bigger bust... And a slimmer belly, and there's a, the inches difference between those yeah. are enough. Then it will already be baggy on your belly because yeah. it's tight on your boobs. With me, there isn't that much difference. So, right. and where I like the way your things have been fitting, yeah, it would be interesting actually if you measured one of your bigger fitting ones yeah. to see what what the finished garment has given you ease wise. Yeah. But for this, I normally go for forty two. Yeah, this would have been I think there was an option sort for forty, or the next one was forty five. Yeah, which was the large. So I've gone for the large and I will see how it fits. But I thought yeah. with this, it's quite a um, relaxed, I thought, just a nice relaxed. Yeah. If it is oversized too much, I just want one that I wear, can wear all the time because yeah. that metamorphic, which I just over dyed, I've been wearing it constantly. Yeah. So I'm thinking a jumper that you just throw on and yeah. will go with everything. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for here. So. Oh, I can't wait to see that finished. Yeah. Probably on the next podcast. <laughs> no, it won't be. I don't think, well, I don't know. Because once this um, panel's done on the front and back, yeah, then it's just round and round. I yeah. think this this detail carries on yeah. down the side yeah. and everything. But apart from that, and that, I'll just be able to read. So once I'm going round and round, yeah. it, I might, because it'll be mindless then. Yeah. But yeah. That's been Love that. fun. Have you got? I haven't got any more now. Oh, okay. I'm done. I think. What have we got? Yeah, one more. I am done. Yeah. One more. Oh, I feel quite tired. <laughs> I feel quite tired now. I don't know how long we've been recording for. No. So, this is Speckled Hen Fade <gasps> Set by Lovely Joe of Moonlight Fiber. See, I know it. I shouldn't actually look at my notes. No. Um, originally, I if you could hold that yeah. the needles there and there. 
So originally I started with, there's four colours in the fade, 450 gram in four ply. Yeah. And originally I started making a rocket tee. Okay. And I started with the orange colours first at the top. But I didn't like it, just as you got to the join of the V-neck is when I had right. to stripe it and I didn't, yeah. I was trying to calculate like how much will I need to fade in and and I striped it and I didn't like the way it looked sort of striped and I thought this isn't working. I want a project where it just, the yarn can just do its thing. Yeah. So I went for just a triangle shawl, but I used the shaping from the last light shawl by stephanie lotvin and it's because it's got a really nice edge yeah that's really nice she does a really nice edge so obviously i'd knit that one before and yeah. this is my go-to edging now for triangle shawl yeah that's a paid for pattern that has intarsia on it but lovely pattern yeah. anyway so yeah that is looking... i'm on the second color so it starts off with this which is a sort of taupey colour yeah. and then fades in here and then you have the same but black has been added and then it will go to this one so you'll have black with the peachy yeah colours sorry are I've you actually fading it or is it you I'm, just just i'm not yeah, gonna fade it does it. its thing doesn't it i'm not gonna fade no, it because you don't need to when i faded this one with the final colour um it did a stripe and because it was where before it separated it was knit flat it had to be a two row and yeah. it was just obvious. And I thought, I don't, it doesn't need to. No. So this will be the next colour. So it's, I've got 50 grams of each. And then on this final one, what I thought I might do is a wide ribbing. Yeah. So the edging, once I get to that colour, I'll do a wide rib, sort of maybe, maybe a five by five. Yeah. Rib as the border in nice. the brighter orange. And yeah. then maybe I'll just use a black yarn for an eye cord bind off. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. It'll be 200 grams altogether. But Ooh. I love this. And I, I it's obviously we got this uh, Unravel in September. Yes. And I've been wanting to use it. I'm sort of thinking, I can't just knit a plane. Why not? Why yeah. can't I? Yeah. Obviously it's I can. It's going to look amazing. And yeah, I love it. Beautiful. With those speckles fading in, yeah. That is going to be so nice. But I tried holding it with like a um, a beige drops flora and I was going to do another one of those yeah. scarves, long scarves. And I thought, no, the no. yarns, I don't yeah. want to no. change yeah. the fade. No, that's beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. Love yeah. So nice. So I think that's my last, yeah, that's my last whip of You've done thing. so much. Mine looks... Well, a lot of those... FOs were almost finished. Yeah. They'd been long ones that I'd gone, oh, I don't want to work on that. And then I looked at it, I'm like, hang on, there's like yeah. that much. And that's what I've been doing. I've been getting my whips out. Yeah. And then working on a bit, working. But what I need to do is work on one whip constantly to get Until it finished. finished. Yeah. yeah. To get it finished. Because I'm like my honeycomb show, I want that done. But I'm like literally just doing a bit and then I'll go on to something else. Then I'll cast something on. Then like some of the, most of these. New cast on. Uh, new cast. Well, my FOs apart yeah, from you had the new my FOs apart from the um water bottle were all yeah cast you've got on a dime. and and finished <laughs> before. Like I haven't even shown them as whips. Yeah. So I've been jumping from one to the other, and yeah. I think by doing that. There was always a project. Yeah. So I had the twelve projects, like I said. With it's and um, yes, yeah. yeah. She make she makes you want to cast on. To Are you watching the cut? <laughs> yeah. yeah, her twelve cast ons. Yeah. She's done a wrap up now yeah. of the twelve yeah, cast on you saw. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it's been good to have twelve. Oh, actually, I've got, I've got a something I just started that it wasn't worth bringing. Right. But I've got space for one more cast on so as, as soon as you finish something yeah you cast on something else well i'm keeping it at 12 yeah because then there's so many whips you've got that there's always something for every occasion i think that's my yeah. point yeah if you're feeling like oh i want like you, yeah like with your hat you've got the yeah. cable hat yeah that's it but yeah i've looked well i've just i've had the two birthdays at the beginning of february yes. plus we've had half term which really i should have been able to but i was having to go work as well yeah so i didn't really get 
much time, even though I do knit at work. <laughs> <laughs> Not that my husband uh, <laughs> appreciates it. Well, you're there, aren't you? You're, I'm there. You're spotter, I'm there. aren't you, yeah. really? Making yeah. sure he's safe. Making sure he's safe. Why would I knit? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then Shannon was in hospital, so you'd think that I'd have 19 hours in A&E we were in. Yeah. You'd think I would be knitting, but I'm just too nosy. Oh, what, listening? Yeah, and it was in the middle of the night. I mean, we stayed up 34 hours yeah. with no sleep. But, so I was tired, but I was also, you can't sleep in A&E. No. And knitting was just... I'm just too nosy. I like to know what. Oh, they, you're what, hearing. What, I, I think I knew what was wrong with every single person in A and E, and I've never seen A and E like it. It was. No. I feel so sorry for the NHS staff. It's overrun. It's isn't mad. It? It's really mad to see like eighty and ninety year old uh, men sitting there for nineteen hours, the same as us in A and E, sitting in a chair for nineteen hours at that age, waiting for X rays. For broken bones. It's really overrun. It's so sad. At the it's moment. so sad. And they're looking at closing some, aren't they? Yeah. And then moving it yeah. there. Well, like... we had a thing that when we came out of hospital a couple of days later, because she had to stay in, um, there's no beds. There's no beds. I mean, they, they said to us, you know, she needs to go in. She needs to be on a bed. She needs to, her heart needs to be monitored. Yeah. There's no beds. There was no beds. There, the, there was one machine left and it was bro it broke while she was on it. She was left for eight hours with no heart machine. Yeah, I think the NHS here really struggling oh, at the it moment. It was really, um, yeah. Overrun, I think, a lot of staff are leaving because they're not being treated well. No. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, was, it's, it was, you know, you, you hear it on the news and things and you just... Think, yeah. oh, but when you see it, it's it's so sad, so sad. But yeah, you'd think I'd have all that time knitting, and then when you when we were up on the ward after nineteen hours in eighty, <laughs> I still can't because I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> wired as well. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I'm a people watcher. I'm a people watcher anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out somewhere. <laughs> I like to sit down and just yeah. Yeah. Watch people, but she's doing all right now. Yeah, she's yeah, she's. Well, just got to... Wait and see it. now. Yeah, they said once it happens once. Hopefully it could happen once. And yeah. then if it happens again, then they, they're they more invasive. So I think that it's like a mini heart attack. Yeah. But she's only 28. So yeah. a bit scary. We had three doctors come up at, two, at different times saying, has anyone died of sudden death at a yeah. young age? And that, like, literally... I've it's been. Like, why I've are you been, asking that? Yeah, I've been worried. Yeah. And like I said, I messaged. I messaged Shannon, yeah. spoke to Shannon. But no, she had blood done yesterday and they got the results straight away. And her heart, um, so tropian levels are supposed to be between three and six, I think. Anything over that is a heart attack. Yeah. Shannon's come back at 60. Yeah. So obviously we had to stay in. But they. But because down they, now. they're that right down everything's back to normal so fingers Good. crossed it's I, I think she's got to have a cardiology appointment yeah just to check up but other than that hopefully it was just a one-off and just random thing. random thing that yeah that happened it just worries you doesn't it because I, I i've heard it so many times now like with these young people having heart attacks yeah it's so worrying. Yeah, I think that's another reason why I've knit so much. I've been worried. Yeah. And I, I said to Shannon, I didn't want to keep messaging and going, are you okay? Because I could yeah. see Shannon's posting things on Instagram. She's so I'm trying like, to, she's fine. She's, yeah, she's, um, Shannon's a joker. You know, things like that. I think she put on her Instagram. Um, well, she was supposed to go, she was supposed to go to, was it Italy? Italy, yeah. And so she's, she said that she should be in Italy having gelato and instead she's she, in the hospital eating the hospital ice cream. We put that <laughs> up and I thought, okay, she's, she's, yeah. she she's jokes, okay. She's very good joking. at that, like that. You know, yeah. I would I would be sitting there going, oh my God, sudden yeah. death and all that. But no, yeah. Shannon will joke about it. That's good. She, she does make me laugh, bless her. But yeah. She's a, I'm surprised she wasn't a, like getting you to knit things for for her while you were in there. Yeah, wanting. Yeah, well, it's funny because one minute we were we were trying to sleep, like I was led on the bed, and uh, I said go to sleep, Shan. And anyway, 
with that, you get nurses coming in and out, keep doing her Temperature and, and things, yeah. And uh, literally, it was three minutes, and Shannon went, oh, at least we had a sleep. <laughs> I went, Shannon, it's been three minutes. She went, has it? <laughs> We haven't been asleep yeah, for three not. minutes. But no, she's doing all right. So. Not a relaxing place to be, is it? No. no. I've got a little bit of hand spun that I thought I'd Ooh. quickly show. But I'm glad she's... Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's she's... been... Hopefully it's just a one-off and she'll be all right. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So this was the... I think I showed this ages ago. This was one I... I blended up a load of Rolags that's got all kinds of things in here. Merino, Corydell, banana fibre, silk, pole worth. It's DK, 206 metres. Oh, and nice. I was originally spinning this on a drop spindle. I think I spun sort of 20 grams and I was like, no. Yeah. So I did that on the e-spinner. But obviously it's overall, it's a green. But yeah, that's so nice. got all the rainbows in. Yeah. Sort of like disguising. Yeah. Um, Sky's rainbow, so that's the first one. Um, and then this was I showed this in chunky last time, so it was a blend, it was called from World of War and it was called Taste the Rainbow by Damo. Yeah, but I blended some of that with some Corydale. Yeah, and that's a sport 64 grams, 188 meters, and that's got obviously the rainbow. Neps. That's really nice. Which is fun. Um, oh, I'll show you this one next. This was um, by Wonderful Wool, dyed by Wonderful Wool in Falkland. And I did a fractal. And that's four ply, 363 metres. I've got 98 grams. That's stunning. So, that's yeah, really oh, that nice. might do a um, colour work. Yeah. Oh, I've got, I just got a colour work, um, yoke, can't remember what it's called, by Isabel Kramer had a sale. So I got a DK colour work and a fingering. But yeah. Um, nice. That was fun. But it hurts my hands, this is the only thing. Doing the thinner yarn, I've got to pinch the twist yeah. um, harder. And so sitting there doing it, it does start to hurt my, um, I think I've got like a, it bends my thumb the wrong right. way. Okay. Whereas a DK, I don't have to put as much yeah. pressure on. So yeah, that's, oh, this is 50 grams of Shetland, natural Shetland. That's a DK. And I just spun that to make sure that I was back at DK. Yeah. After spinning the thinner yeah. ones. Um, and one more. This was some merino, which was um, by the Freshing Barn. What was it called? I think it was like Sunset Over Reef or something. But again, so it's kind of a brownie maroon here. And then it's rainbows. Oh. It's like a head. <laughs> <laughs> it's rainbows. It's rainbows. Heathered um, colour. But yeah, I love that. That's Actually, I think really nice. Freshing Barn is going to be at Unravel. Yes. So we're going on the Friday. Yes. So that's Unravel in Farnham. I have a wall budget. Yeah, me too. I have no plan. I have a, well, I have a plan. I want to get two skeins of a, a uh, solid. Yeah. For the snow, oh, I can't think what it's called now, snow frost. Is it a tea? No, it's the, short, the scarf that I showed Max and Vincent. Because they're going to oh, yes. be there. Oh, you're going to get it from theirs? Yes, I'm going to get it from theirs. Yeah, so they're going to unravel. They're actually, they've never bought their... Was it not their own yarn? Because they were there before, they? were they? there with... Um, oh, helping someone else. Yeah. And they, this time, they've opened a shop now. Ah. So now they're bringing their own... Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. So, yeah, I'm going to get some of that. And Bird Street, did yeah. you see what they put on last night? No. I don't want to tell anyone. <laughs> Just in case they get, actually, we're getting there at night. We're going, yeah, we're going early on I already Friday. said that. I've, I've already put it on John's post. I'm like, I'm so glad I got tickets for at 9.30 on the Friday morning. I'll still be running to your. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, um, so what he's doing is, is, is uh, popular colours. Yeah. But then breaking it down into minis. What? Yeah. So Pebbles on the Beach is the one that they're taking to unravel. So you've got 
So you get your 100, sca 100 gram skein of pebbles on the beach. Oh, the individual colours? Uh, you, so you get the skein of pebbles in the beach, then you get the individual colours that go into that it. Go into it. Or maybe yeah. it's time for me to eventually make pebbles yeah. with pebbles yes. on the beach. <laughs> yes, you do. But yeah, I love that colour. That's... Yes. Fun. I, so that I've got my eye on that. Well, I'm, I know I want that. I'm going to go home today and we'll go through patterns I want to make and write down how much yarn I'd need and whether I want it to be yeah. a tonal or a rustic. Because yeah. I know you get some, I like non superwash type walls if people go there or natural dyed or something. So I'll, I know I want to make a Harlow hat because, yeah. um, the last one I made in drop slip, do you remember it was yeah. twisting? Yeah. Off. So I think if it's more um non superwash it might Yeah. I might get some wall decanted if they're yeah, they're there, there again. They are there. Oh, I just remembered these as well. Some needles for you because I can't use them. Oh. The nine inch nine inch higher high sharps, two point five, three millimeter, and the knit pro with the longer one, two point five. Because yeah, I've tried and tried, I can't really? use really yeah, I can't use the knife. I rest this hand. The crease here actually sits on the needle right. when I knit. Okay. So if I can't, and obviously for a needle to be that, yeah, there's nothing for me to rest my what? hand on. So I can't use them. Um, what? There's a pattern that I've just uh, needed to border nine inch free. Oh, there you go. You've got them now. I can't think what the pattern was now though. I can't remember, but thank you. Oh, I just remembered. I want to get a DK tonal for Nancy's Nord socks, yes. her DK socks. I've got the member I showed on the last podcast, um, Deeper by Bed Street Yarn oh. in the DK. What, what was that? A tweed one? No, it was just, it's just a navy. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna knit those. So she's got a sock along. Yes, sock along going on. Yeah, I'll put that up. Nancy, well. Nancy Wheeler. Knit it, Pappy. But yeah, so I kind of have got a plan. Yeah. But I'll write. I'll write it all down so I know. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this time. I think. I know when I get there, though, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to get one skeins. I've got so many, but I just can't help myself. I'll see a skein and I'll be like, Ooh. Find yourself a one skein project. Yeah. And then buy that one for that exact. Yeah. And I've then... got so many. <laughs> oh, I also remember my hat from yes. traditional, uh, tr it was traditional Christmas from Crafty Bird. I went on and ordered it in another DK one because I loved that so much. And then I got the sock as well. Gorgeous. The cosy sock Beautiful. and the cosy DK. So... They're lovely. I just love those colours. But she's also and... got mini sets that oh, she... once upon a time is it? And she's there. Oh she's there as well. Yeah. So I've um so I need some pom poms. Yes. And I need and um, I don't need, but I'd like some of her mini sets. Yeah. <sighs> it's it's good having a plan and then maybe like like obviously I would have to maybe have one rainbow skiing allowance just so <laughs> yeah just just to, just so i know it, i haven't got a yeah yeah i really need to start using my yarn i've yes. got a chest down there that i got out the other day from when we went to southern wall show i oh, forgot i forgot yeah, i I've, even had it I forgot I've, i had all of that that i bought from that show i've still got yarn. it was like christmas <laughs> when i yeah. opened it i was like <gasps> <laughs> i couldn't even remember that i bought any of it I've got some of them Ikea zip up. They're like bag for life bags, but they're see-through. And oh, they've yeah, got yeah. zips on them that I keep all my wool in. And yeah, my my stuff from the Southern Wool Show is still is still in there. Yeah. That's the thing. And I've still got stuff from Unravel. Like I've got I've got a three colour bird street. I've got So, so have I. I think Tannery. Is it Stella Bella? Yeah. And Kestrel. So what am I doing? Hoarding. Yeah. Hoarding. I think that's the term. I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just a collector. I just collect. Yarn. They're nice to look at. They, they are, are nice to I look at and have there. Look at all my minis. And I'm on about getting more minis. Haven't you got Pebble on the Beach mini set? 
Yeah, if I... <laughs> If I get my Bird Street yarn... But obviously they're not, the colours broken down. It's not the same thing, is it? No, but I think they probably are. In those two sets up there of the Bird Street yarn minis, I've probably got similar. Mm. But oh, it's fun. The, the thing is, I think going to yarn shows, it's nice. It's nice to see the yarn up close and be yeah. able to... Because ordering things online, you never know. And actually, especially with Wool Warehouse, the amount of times a colour hasn't turned up and being the colour yes but I expected it yeah. to and obviously that's not their fault no 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 yeah but no. seeing things in person or something that you thought you wanted from a photograph you might go there and there's something that's yeah doesn't show up as well but in person like a I got yeah. a rainbow black yarn before yeah. that that probably wouldn't show up in photos no, very well that's it it's just fun in there yeah so we'll be going on the Friday so if anyone's going do come and say hello yeah I'm sorry if today it's been a bit, I feel like my, I couldn't remember the words. I'm like that every episode anyway, yeah. so. Fine. <laughs> Thank you for spending time with us. No, oh, you've got something? Yes, just to say oh. that we might, if I think we should try and podcast in three weeks time. Yeah. Because it's our second anniversary. Oh, is it? Two year anniversary. Yeah, we'll mark it down and we'll, we'll book it in. Yeah. From. I think it's in three weeks' time, 12th of March. Yeah, so we'll just book it in to do it then, yeah. regardless of how many things we yeah. can have. Maybe do a giveaway or something for. Oh, yeah, that'd be um, nice. Gift away. Yeah. Yeah. Two years. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. That's been a while. Anyway. Yeah, thank you for spending for time with us. Happy, <laughs> happy knitting and stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye bye.